so I just got another another card installed here on my mining rig, and I thought I'd um, give a, a quick video overview of uh, what Ethereum mining looks like when you have a, a sort of small small rig going on. So you, you can see here, it's basically just a PC that's kind of I had to take it out of the case because it started to run out of space in there. Um, but th these are the two um, Radeon ATI R9 280X cards. So they're just sat side by side, and they're they're doing the work at the moment. They're doing all all the thinking. And you can see you only kind of need the screen attached to one. Um, then this this is a motherboard. I'm not actually entirely sure what processor is in here, but I, I just got it for free from the local makerspace. Um, it doesn't really seem to matter how how fast the motherboard is. I was using this this really really even worse one before, and then when that um, stopped working, I switched to uh, this this old Dell one over here. So it seems like as long as you have PCI Express slots, um, any anything will work okay. Um, so at the moment, this is running with a this is a 650 watt power supply, which is probably pushing the limit of what what you what you should do um, for for two of these cards I think it's better to have a bit of a safety margin because I think they draw about 200 watts each uh, and then this the rest of this takes some so it's generating a fair bit of warmth you can feel heat coming off it and it warms up the room um, this disk just has Ubuntu version 15 on it so uh, over here you can see this is the mining kind of software. It just gives a little, a little readout of how fast it's going. Um, and over on this tab, oh, the, this is I set this up just so it pings Google all the time, because I figured if it mines a block, if there's a delay on uh, how quickly it can get the propagation out of that mined block, then that would suck because on Ethereum the blocks happen so fast. Um, over here you can see this is like the other part of Ethereum. This is the um, Geth console. Uh, this just shows the balance at the moment. It moved most of the coins that it's mined so far onto um, an exchange. So if I go up here I've been keeping track of um, Ethereum mining so far. Actually, that's weird. Since overclocking the cards a bit, there's started to be weird screen artifacts. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Uh, so this is when I started mining here. You can see early on, it, just one card managed to make about one block a day, and this day, three blocks, this day, zero. Then as difficulty here has been increasing, you can see that the amount of blocks that it generates uh, has gone down up until around today. So here is where we first started using two cards. So in theory, we should get about double, double the amount of reward. You can I'm gonna kind of chart over here, kind of keep track of what's going on. So this is the total amount of ether, and this green one is difficulty increasing here. And these are the ones that pulse up and down, or just like when, when any income comes in. Uh, I've been trying to work out the um, power cost, but because it's a, um, in theory, it is, it is a um, 650 watt, so it's probably not flat out. It's probably closer to about 500 watt, which is half a kilowatt. And normally, electric units are measured as one kilowatt hour. So if this runs, it's whatever it costs for one kilowatt hour divided by two, because it's only 500 watts. Uh, in, in here in New Zealand, it costs, da, 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 focus. Mm -hmm. I I added this in. Da, da, da. Yeah, about 18, uh, 18 cents per unit. So electrically, it's costing about two dollars sixteen a day and da, 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 it is making just with the one card about 
just under six dollars there. Okay, I'll, I'll keep you posted on how this goes. Hope this inspires more people to get interested in Ethereum.